Yes people, yes, and welcome back to another video. In this video we are playing Gold Rush Duos in a Grand Soiree event. And to be honest, it's a lot of fun. I've got a really good game to show you guys. We're going to be talking about the Gibraltar buffs that's happened, how it impacts the game. I'm going to show you Gibraltar's buffs in action. And also, if you want to see what happens if you don't have a gun and you have to fight a Mastiff, wait till the end because I've got a crazy clip you're not going to believe. If this is your first time coming to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to join us, the 100%ers and the P. KAA, the Peacekeeper Appreciation Association and Associates. Let's get going. Uh huh, it's your boy Hannah. Well, well, well. We have Gold Rush duos added to the game as a limited time mode in the Grand Soiree event. It's basically duos mode where every single weapon is gold. And we also have some nerfs and some buffs to various legends in the game. A notable buff to a notable legend already in the game is the Gibraltar buff. I mean, I don't know why it happened, but it did. They've allowed you now to heal up your teammates in the dome considerably faster than you would normally. Much, much faster. Gibraltar is actually OP now. It's like he dropped all five pieces of Exodia on us. Like, what's the point of having a lifeline on your team when you can res someone as quickly as this, throw down your ultimate, and hopefully get the other kill as well? It's really broken, but I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm going to play... Look at that. That's the kill right there. You already know Hunter's going to be using Gibraltar a bit more from now on. I mean, it's looking real appealing. Pretty sure we're going to see a lot of the pros use this in all of the tournaments up ahead. It's absolutely crazy, guys. Here's another example of this new healing ability a pop down the shield new animation he gets up really quickly the anime team are probably confused as to whether to push or not because i got the res off so quickly and i think they cancelled last second but i'm able to punish that and take them out it's really really crazy guys this new buff is an actual game changer it's a meta changer so make sure to pick gibraltar up i have made a video on how to get 2k damage with him so it's gonna pop up on screen up there but just know that this healing that didn't actually need to happen to gibraltar is absolutely crazy and i think is a bit of a lifeline killer do you know how many gibraltar champions i've seen today get a gibraltar on your team so let's go talk about the main gameplay of this video which is the gold rush duos gameplay which i played i think it was my second game playing this mode and you know what it is so much fun it is duos but with a twist all you have is gold weapons and my gosh i was expecting to see a gold r301 or a gold 99 but you know we didn't get to see that i don't even think i saw a gold prowler to be really honest with you but the game mode is a lot of fun one thing i have to say is that there is a lack of shields much like other limited time modes such as armed and dangerous finding a purple shield is like finding raw plutonium it's just rare why is it so rare i don't like the fact that i'm always susceptible to a kraber shot you know they're very common in this game mode they're lying all over the floor everywhere and i just don't like the fact that i could be headshotted at any time so that's just one thing i'm gonna mention you're never really safe at any point but i think it adds to the whole feel of the game mode i mean i would want to get my kill if if I shot someone across the map, you know, with a cray bar, maybe they were also trying to encourage faster games. This is refreshing. We needed something like this. But why are game modes only in the game for two days and then they're taken out? We need to have this in there for longer so we can have more gameplay, more variety in this game. It's a lot of fun, guys. It is a lot of fun. But my, oh my, I still can't get over it. The Gibraltar buffs. I know some people don't like playing as him because he does feel slower. He is not slower than all the other legends, but he definitely does feel slower and a bit clunkier than all the other legends. So I do understand that, but you have to give him a try. It's just a amazing so obviously we know we're gonna have to lock down this place i think it's a good spot in the circle it's got multiple different layers if someone needs to come and attack us we can go down to one floor and hold it down as well so we do have multiple escape routes which is always a plus I can see an enemy across the way and I do know we have to take our time with this. We don't want to push, we don't want to give up our position. We're holding this spot down and this is what it's all about. So as you can see, this Pathfinder is trying to peep me right now. I'm trying to take a couple shots with a G7. Guys, the weapon selection in this, one thing I like about limited time modes is that you're able to try out different things. Doesn't necessarily affect your KD. I don't believe this affects your KD. Kind of like Winter Express. I do know you can get badges on this. So if you do have a high kill game, you can potentially get your badges this way. It's very fun, very refreshing. And I think it's great as a duos mode. I do think it probably would have been too much in squads, but with duos, it feels just right, guys. Imagine getting triple Kraybird. We can see that there is an enemy here. I'm watching this stairwell because I do not want the enemy to push up too much and get too much space on us. Oh, the ma guys, the Mastiff is crazy. You know, you don't really come across these too often in normal games. So just pick 
pick them up when you have the chance because you won't be disappointed. They do have a good reputation for a reason. Did you notice that I kept my ADS down even though I'm weaker than him? The fact that I kept ADSing, I kept aiming down sights, allowing my arm shield to be constantly up, gave me that extra 75 shield and I was able to challenge him. We're getting pushed again. Bah, with a Mastiff. Oh my gosh. The Mastiff is devastating, guys. This is a lot of fun just taking people out. Obviously, it's not fun being taken out. There's a lot of shots coming towards us right now. Let's just pop down this shield. Gibraltar has so much utility. I'm gonna have a look. We're gonna have a butchers. We're gonna have a look around and see who we can take out right now. I'm feeling confident, guys. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. You know, we've been tested and all that, but we came out strong. We've come out united as a force, as a team. Guys, there's no reason why you should not pick up Gibraltar. There is no reason why you should not pick up Gibraltar. Gibraltar is so good. So much utility now. He's untouchable. Oh my. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go hide up. That is the situation. We are getting targeted here. I'm gonna heal up. And then I'm going to plan my revenge. Quick side note, we really did pick the best place to base up because it's right on the edge of zone. It's perfect. Oh, they're trying to rotate. We can't allow that. G7 time. Okay, so someone said they were going to nerf the G7. Now, I don't know about you, but I was told a rumor that the G7 was going to get nerfed because the fire rate on that thing was so ridiculous. I mean, if that was to happen, I wouldn't be mad at all. Evidently, it's not been nerfed and it's actually still a great gun to use. So do pick that up in conjunction with your Gibraltar for great results, guys. Terms and conditions apply. They're going to have to get through 75 shield first to even touch you. So it allows you to stand still and just aim with your G7 and get those hits in you know all this damage is racking up guys we're gonna put a lot of pressure on right now this is our time to strike they've been trying to take us down so it's time i've been thinking about this for a long time break that door no scope it pop that shield down heal up real quick we got the heal bonus gibraltar is op gibraltar is actually op oh hit him with a mastiff hit him with a window shot come here son keep the ads down we're keeping the ads he knows he knows it's over Ooh, Kill leader? Oh, stop. You are far too kind. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did last video. If you've reached this point in the video, make sure to comment Mozambique in the comment section below to let me know. And while you're commenting, make sure to hit the like button because it really does help my video get shown to more people. It really does help. Okay, let's get right back into this. It's enemy here. We can see him. We're going to push this. Definitely going to push this. We've just come out of a war zone. We are going for this final squad. I'm assuming it's a 2v2. So let's go and get this done. I'm going to try and flank around. I'm happy that my teammate is actually following through as well because it's very important to have that kind of teamwork in duos so we're pushing forward and we know that they're on top of us so we're going to hold down this bottom floor because at least we're going to be in zone there's going to be no pressure for us to get in zone because we're already here so we're going to try and hold this down but then i'm concerned actually they could be upstairs plotting to take us down so i'm going to check to see if we can take the upstairs part of this room but oh no how did that not hit anything Oh my word, I'm out. I'm going to try and heal. Okay, I'm going to cancel. Fate you. Got you down. G7 time. No. No. Teammate got this. Come on, teammate got this. He's got this. No, don't go for the res. Save yourself. I think he's over here. He's over here. He's over here. Oh, they got. there's two of them with the self res. There's another one here, bro. This is your moment. Solidify our victory. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, this game mode is refreshing, guys. This game mode is good. Try it out before you can't because it's a limited time mode that's only available for 48 hours. Why respawn? I'm going to have a video on LTMs and how that makes you a better player. Ultimately, we do have that crazy clip coming up of what to do when you have no weapon and someone else has a Mastiff. You're not going to believe this clip, so make sure you stay. It's coming up right now. 2,366 damage with the new and improved Gibraltar. That is fantastic. I'm happy with that we're good with that okay so picture this you've just landed in a really busy area and you do not have a weapon your teammate dies right out of the gate and it all looks hopeless well that happened to me and it's not fun it's really not fun but guess what happens next let's find out you don't have a gun someone has a gun you are Gibraltar big hitbox but we're going anywhere we're pushing I'm going to punch this guy, hit this guy with a kick in the air. Oh no, I gave him distance though with the shotgun. It's not a good idea, but we're pushing forward anyway. Here we go. It's done. It's done. Bare hands versus a Mastiff. This is what we're all about. Let's go. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.